Hello, this is Matt Meyer, Larry Ludwig, Connor Nuremberger, Andrew Sanford, and Alex Wolf. We're here today to demonstrate wire rope lube and where you should use wire rope lube and specifically Silver Street. So Larry, what are the biggest problems with wire ropes? Two of the biggest problems with a wire rope is that they will corrode and wear from the, actually the inside out. How can you tell it's wearing? You can tell by the rouge, which is basically a rust spot that you will find on the wire rope during the inspection of it. On the surface. On the surface. So Larry, by the time the rouge actually appears on the surface of the rope, it's too late, isn't it? It is. That rope has already started to fail. So, we have two products for wire ropes that are used two different ways. Larry, explain what wire rope specific, specifically versus Silver Street first. Okay, the wire rope lube is a penetrating type lubricant. As I said before, the wire rope actually corrodes and wears from the inside out. You need a lubricant that will rapidly penetrate to the core of that... Uh, to the wire rope. Yeah, to the wire rope. So one of the keys you're telling me, Larry, is, is that the wire rope, it also reduces the friction between the individual wires, and that's why you need the penetration. Yes. If the, if the lubricant is just sitting on the outside of the wire rope and doesn't penetrate the rope itself, it traps the moisture inside, increases the rust, and you can't tell if it's rusting, which is known as rouge. That is correct. Typically a wire rope is condemned when the rouge spot is one half the diameter of the wire rope. So, the first thing you do with a wire rope if you're properly maintaining it is the wire rope loop. Now, where does the silver streak come in? Okay, the silver streak will act as a wire rope dressing. You would put a very light coating onto the uh, wire rope. Preferably also as that wire rope is going over the ship where it's opening up so you can get a little bit of that into the uh, down to the core. Putting that light film will seal out any contaminants such as uh, moisture. It also will help by preventing any dirt or abrasive material that getting, may getting be, into, getting the, wire into rope. the wire rope. Yes. Now we all know that it's a little impractical to apply this as it goes over the shiv. Yes, that is ideal. That could be expensive, time consuming, and somewhat dangerous. Is it okay if I just spray it on the coil on the drum? It is. So, yeah. Ideally, it wants to be, you want to apply these lubricants as the wire rope is as open as possible, but we all know how reality works. Getting an operator, at least to get it on the spool, the beautiful thing about these products is just putting a little bit on the spool, it will work its way in over time as that spool is wound and unwound. That is correct. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the effectiveness of wire rope lube and how fast it penetrates a 3 8 inch wire rope. It's fully penetrated to the core. You see, untwisted, unlike see. Andrew. We'll see. Yeah. You know, the other thing about wire rope in Silver Street is there is a ball in it to help make sure you get it mixed up really well. Let go of it, take it, give it a full twist. There you go. And it gets right down into the core of it. It's, it's in there. It's in there. It's not staying, but it's in there. It won't stay open because yeah. it's pinned together really good. Yeah. 
you know, to have a penetrant actually get to the center of the wire rope as quickly as it does is unique. And if you've got an outside area or a shop area that you can make a mess in, you ready, Andrew? I'm ready. All right, customer, give it a shot. And in fact, that's what you're looking for, is you're looking for this to be completely through all the way to that center core. Those very, that center wire is lubricated in a matter of five seconds. Let's talk about rope dressing, wire rope dressing. We've seen how it can penetrate to the center. There is some penetrant in the silver streak itself. However, the proper way to do it is to do that, get it nice and covered, and then spray silver streak on it. And because it's so close and so concentrated, it looks really, really thick. But as this is cycled through the drum and over the shivs and around all the pulleys of your tow truck, your crane, wherever the wire rope is being used, it'll work itself in really, really well. And it will leave what, Larry? A transparent film. A transparent film. So, and why is that important? That is very important for inspection purposes. So that you can see the rust, rust, the rouge. The rouge, yes. So there we have two different wire rope lubes. Silver Streak is considered a wire rope lube and we make a specific wire rope lube. Yes. The differences between the two of them is the amount of penetrant in them, correct? That is correct. Okay. Wire rope lube will penetrate faster than Silver Streak, correct? It will. Okay, so safety critical items like mining shovels, cranes, drag lines, things like that, the best practice is to use both, correct? It is correct. So, if you're a tow truck operator and you just want one, which one are you going to pick? You would use the Silver Streak. Because you want it as. You want that lubricant to be able to at least do some penetration into the core and also leave a film on the outside that will protect against wear and corrosion. So it's a rope dressing with a penetrant. It just takes longer than the wire rope to penetrate. That is correct. The other thing about silver streak versus wire rope is if you just use wire rope alone, it's easier to inspect, it's cleaner, it's clear, and certain DOT requirements, OSHA requirements, MSA requirements, if you cover the rope with too much grease, you can't see the, the uh, rouge forming, the rust that's coming out from the inside of the wire rope during inspection, you can't see it, and they'll fail the whole rope, correct? Larry? Yes, that is correct. Okay. So, yes, non-safety critical items, Silver Streak works just great. If you really want to be really super careful, wire rope and Silver Streak together, or just use wire rope if inspection is a key point so that you can see the rust coming through. That is correct. Now we're just going to use Silver Streak on this wire rope as if it were a tow truck. Not safety critical, not really all that inspected, so. And as Alex takes that apart, what you'll notice is that it doesn't really penetrate. It sticks on the top. The action of the rope will eventually get it there, but it doesn't penetrate as fast as wire rope. That's why we have two different products. One of the keys that Larry was talking about is rope inspection by DOT, OSHA, and EMSA. Look at how clean the wire rope alone is. That silver streak alone. This is really one of the key benefits of this is you could see 
how the rope's health is doing. 